After months of Americans watching Donald Trump, the criminal defendant in his New York hush money trial, this week we got the return of Donald Trump, the politician, the racist, rambling and deeply self-sabotaging candidate who will accept the GOP presidential nomination in a city that he reportedly told House Republicans was, quote, horrible. During his triumphant return to Capitol Hill this week, three years after his supporters stormed the building on January 6th, this weekend, the Biden campaign and Democrats are seizing on Trump's harsh words about Milwaukee, exactly one month before it hosts the Republican National Convention. While Trump's campaign and his Republican allies are doing everything they can to downplay, deny, or justify his comments, falling back on racist lies about crime and voter fraud in a city led by a black mayor. Again, joining me now, the mayor of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Cavalier Johnson, a Democrat. Mayor Johnson, thank you for being with us tonight. I know that you are a Democrat, and you are as a Democrat, still deeply involved in bringing the Republican National Convention to Milwaukee, now exactly one month away. So how did it feel to hear the presumptive GOP presidential nominee, Donald Trump, had reportedly told House Republicans that your city was, quote, horrible just two days ago? Of course, Trump's now denying this happened, but which kind of conflicts would, would he and other Republicans in the meeting have said since. But still, what are your thoughts on this? Well, uh, thank you, Reverend Sharpton. Um, look, when I heard the news and I started hearing uh, some of the Republicans who were in the room uh, talk about what happened, some said that he was talking about crime. Some said he was talking about uh, election integrity. Some said he was talking about, you know, uh, just the city. Some people said it didn't happen, right? It seems like they were just kind of twisting themselves into pretzels trying to figure out uh, what it was that the former president was talking about uh, as it relates to Milwaukee. Uh, I'll tell you this, that the Republican National Committee itself, uh, we've worked very, very closely with them over the course of the last uh, two years. They've been great uh, to work with. This is another example, though, uh, of uh, Donald Trump uh, being an outlier uh, in the Republican Party, right? The, the, the Republicans in the RNC itself They've visited Milwaukee many times. They found this city to be a marvelous, splendid, terrific, wonderful city, so much so that they're hosting the 2024 Republican National Convention here. And I think that when they get on the ground, including the former president, they'll see how great of a city this is. Um, and all of them will go back to their uh, homes all across the country and start telling the positive story about Milwaukee, that this is a terrific city. Well, in fact, I've been to your city many times. It is a great city. In fact, I'll be there the eve before the Republican convention, keynoting for some faith leaders and civil rights leaders in Milwaukee. It's a great city, but whether it's Baltimore, Washington, Atlanta, or New York, Donald Trump, like many conservatives, has consistently bashed cities led by black mayors. In the case of Milwaukee, Republicans who were at the meeting swear he was talking about violent crime and voter fraud. Yet, Milwaukee police have said that crime, specifically homicide, is way down in the city this year, while the FBI this week just confirmed a historic drop in crime nationwide. And, of course, with regards to the 2020 election, no fraud was found. So what's the point of these attacks, Mr. Mayor, no matter how they say he was talking about it? It just isn't true. Uh, again, this is not something that's surprising, right? Uh, Donald Trump saying something that is uh, not fully true. Um, in Milwaukee, I'm proud uh, of the fact that over the course of the last two years, the two years that I've been mayor, uh, we've been working to increase safety uh, here in this community with a focus on two things, uh, 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 accountability uh, and prevention. And that's worked as we've sought to uh, make sure that we drive crime numbers down uh, in the city, working in conjunction with uh, the Milwaukee Police Department, working in conjunction with our Office of Community Wellness and Safety, working in conjunction with the private sector, growing jobs and nonprofit organizations uh, so that young people have opportunities here in Milwaukee. Uh, but you're right, uh, Reverend uh, Sharpton, whether it's you know Chicago, whether it's Washington, D.C., whether it's New York City or now Milwaukee, Right. These things, these cities, these places uh, have something in common. 
Uh, and you know, certainly you've got uh, leadership that, that is diverse, but these are big, diverse places where people from different backgrounds uh, and, and a whole uh, slew of places and diversity come together and call home. I think that's what the former president seems to be targeting. Well, you, and, and I might add, you might not have the problem because he's going to be sentenced before the convention. And if the judge decides to uh, put him in jail or, or give him home confinement, he may not make your city at all. But uh, Trump will visit the neighboring city of Racine, Wisconsin, next week as his allies scramble to either deny or downplay his comments or offer some justification for them. What impact do you anticipate that will have, this will have on the convention? Uh, I think that uh, Trump's comments uh, about Milwaukee and calling it a, a, a horrible city. Uh, uh, look, this is, again, the most diverse place in the state of Wisconsin. And the former president is trying to make inroads with African-Americans. Well, guess what? The vast, the vast majority of African-Americans in the state of Wisconsin live right here in the city of Milwaukee. And it's not even just uh, African-Americans uh, home he called horrible. Um, there are tens of thousands, literally tens of thousands of Republicans who call the city of Milwaukee home, who are raising their kids here, who are helping to bring up their grandkids here, who are uh, connected parts uh, of our community, tens of thousands. And Wisconsin is a state where elections on a statewide basis are decided on a razor's edge. So to insult the city that's hosting your national convention with groups that you're trying to make inroads in, and groups uh, like Republicans, who you lost many of to uh, uh, Ambassador Haley, I just don't think it's a smart political strategy. Now, Mayor, before you go, and I appreciate your time, Donald Trump is in neighboring uh, a state of Michigan today. His campaign uh, is in, it, in its view. They're aggressively supporting black, uh, or courting black voters. Here he, uh, just moments ago, holding a round table in a black church in Detroit. But later this evening, he's also addressing a conservative conference known to attract white supremacists. It'll be laughable were it not for months of polls showing diminished black support for President Biden or showing Trump having made inroads into the black voters, which could be hurt uh, could hurt Biden in some swing states like Michigan. Are you concerned that that could it could happen with Milwaukee's black voters? Well, I'll tell you this, uh, Reverend Al, is that uh, every single vote counts. Uh, president Joe Biden understands that. That's why he himself, the vice president, Kamala Harris, have been here time and time again uh, asking for the vote and showing uh, African-Americans here uh, in this city and in this state the positive things that have come out of their administration for black people uh, here in Milwaukee and across Wisconsin. And I'll tell you what, uh, just a couple of weeks ago, I had the opportunity to go out to uh, this community festival called Heal the Hood that we have uh, in Milwaukee. And I engaged directly with black men there because I was hearing you know, this noise about uh, Donald Trump trying to get support from black men. And I asked those black men, several of them, random, you know, uh, the election's coming up, are you registered to vote, are you voting? Each and every single one of them said yes. Each and every single one of them said that they're voting for President Biden. And one of them uh, had a conversation with me that was very striking. They said in 1619, slavery started in the United States. Uh, that was the original sin against black people. Donald Trump talked about being a dictator, even for a day. And black people laid the foundation for American democracy, laid the foundation for the Capitol and the White House. So we're not going to go from slavery to dictatorship on the backs of black people in the United States. As a wise young man that told you that. Thank you for being with us, Mayor of Milwaukee, Mayor Cavalier Johnson. Now, 